Hello, fighter survivors and thrivers. As you can see, I'm celebrating. It's time for celebration. Why? Because it is my anniversary. Eight years ago, today, I was diagnosed with stage two colon cancer. From there, I ended up um, becoming a stage three <laughs> colon cancer um, fighter because of lymph nodes, those naughty little lymph nodes. And um, I had eight months of chemotherapy, two months of, um, of radiation, two major surgeries, all kinds of procedures. You know, the whole shebang. <laughs> But I am here to tell you that it's eight years later. And you know, the very first thing I asked my doctor after she said those three words that you never want to hear, you have cancer, was I asked her, am I dying? And she said, no. So I was very happy about that. As you, as you know, I'm a big, big believer in backwards blessing, bless, blessings, and cancer was a backwards blessing. Many, many blessings. I like to start with my family and my friends. I just want to thank you so much. Thank you for lifting me up, for carrying me through, uh, for making me laugh, for being there beside, beside me um, through the whole time. Thank you to my community, to my children's schools, to my church, my priest. Um, I just so, so blessed to have so many people around me, cheering for me, rooting for me, helping me. Uh, I just want you to know that I have so much love for you and I, I will never, ever forget you, ever. Even you're, though you're still in my life and you're still supporting me in my passion, in my mission, and um, I, I just want you to know that I often think of you and um, express gratitude, especially to my higher power, my mom, my sister, and um, all those people who, you know, who, who, who were kind to me, regardless of knowing me, nurses, well, doctors, when you first meet them, but then you have relationships with them, relationships with them. And my doctors were awesome. Um, so many random acts of kindness and uh, meeting new friends, new people that you connect and bond with. Um, there are many blessings if you just keep your eyes open. So if you are going through treatment right now, if you were just diagnosed, if you just finish and you're, you're, you know, you're raw, please don't give up. Please keep fighting because it's worth it. I'm probably healthier now than I ever have been because I can't eat the kind of food, the kinds of foods that I could eat before because, um, I have to eat clean. Otherwise I suffer for it. Um, and so it's not worth it for me. And I just so you're so much more grateful after you've gone through something really um, traumatic. You just have a different um, point of view, um, you know, in life. So uh, a point, a different point of view about life, and um, it's just more precious. So to um, to my sister and to all of those who have received their angel wings way too soon, those who have lost their life to cancer. I just want to honor them. It's really hard to lose somebody to cancer. And, you know, I miss my sister so much. I, I love her. Um, and I, I, I feel like she's still here with me, but I understand that pain too. There's pain being a, um, survivor, a fighter survivor. And, there's pain watching somebody you love pass away from cancer. It was harder for me to watch my sister leave this earth. It was much harder than going through cancer. And cancer was the hardest thing. 
up until that point that I had ever experienced. So I just want to honor, honor all of those, all of our angels, um, that are in heaven. And I do believe that we will unite again, but I just, I just wanted to make, you know, to just take a moment and say that I live in her honor. I, um, I give of myself in her honor. I try to help people and serve people in her honor. And, and I'm just, I just feel so blessed that I was, I was, um, I had such a wonderful sister, loving sister, supportive sister, giving sister. Uh, yeah. And, and my mom and my brothers, like everybody in my family, my mom, my mom is, incredible person. She taught me the power of positivity from a very, very young age. And that was one of the reasons why I did so well during cancer treatment. I mean, it's difficult. I'm not saying it was easy, but having a positive mindset and being able to like get yourself up off the floor when you're down so low is, um, it's a gift but it's also a tool and a practice and you, you have to practice that. You have to get yourself up and going. And when you want to quit, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta tell yourself why, why you can't quit. I mean, I never had the feeling of quitting because of my children. My children were only four and six and they are my life. They are my everything. They are my reason. So I was highly, highly motivated to beat cancer and I did, and you can too. So please don't give up. If you if you do not have a community around you like I had, um, please message me. Nobody has to go through cancer alone. I can connect you with mentors, people that have been through um, cancer who are there to help you get through your cancer. And um, it's a team. You know, cancer is a family disease. It's not just a person a disease. It's a community disease. Like we need to help each other because we are one big family and we want to help. That's one of the great things about the cancer community is that we want to help. We all want to help. So going forward, I am looking forward to another year of being cancer free, of being cured, of being healthy, thriving, loving my life. Um, so grateful to God, the universe, my people, my children, my dogs, <laughs> the animals, flowers. <laughs> this is this is like every day is a celebration of life, of love, of just being present, appreciating every single moment, every single sex second. And I'm just, I'm just so happy to be here with you to celebrate eight years of being cancer free. Okay. Fighter survivors and thrivers. Daily mantra, you know it. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. Repeat. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. One more time. Say it like you mean it. I am healthy. I am happy. I am whole. Thank you so much for joining me.